Hello, in this video I'm going to talk to you about how to grade a peer review in Canvas. Now this video assumes that students have already submitted drafts, you have already logged in after that submission date to assign peer reviews, and then students have already logged in and left comments for each other. And now you're grading it, logging in to grade the comments that students left for each other. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and open the speed grader for the peer reviews. Okay, and once you open the speed grader, you're gonna go ahead and see a screen that looks like this. Okay, and in this case, I have um, made Lynn's paper and Celeste's comments. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and go through Celeste's comments and decide if she met the requirements of the assignment. Did she comment in text? Did she use the questions I provided? Do most of her comments have explanations that make it clear what she is suggesting May Lynn do? Right? I'm going to go through the, the comments and decide what I think the grade should be. Now importantly, I cannot assign Celeste a grade on this screen because this screen is for May Lynn. So if I put a grade in here, that grade is gonna go in the grade book under May Lynn's name instead of Celeste's name. So what I have to do is go to Celeste's paper and give her a grade on that page for her comments on this page. Now, yes, that is a very confusing system. Canvas is fully aware of the problem. They do have a web page where they explain that they understand that teachers want to be able to grade on the same page as the comments, but that Canvas does not support that at the moment. And they have not yet fixed this problem. So for the time being, this is the system we're working with. It confuses me personally to do one by one bouncing all over the place, you know, this paper, and then I jump to Celeste's paper so I can give her a grade and then jump back here. And if I'm bouncing around too much, it confuses me. So what I suggest is going through the papers in order with a Word document or a piece of paper in front of you and just go through the papers in order, making comments on you know what grade you intend to give this student and if you're gonna deduct points, what for. All right, and once you've gone through all the papers in order and you have notes on who's gonna get what grade, you go through the papers again, assigning grades. All right, so once you're done with that, for example, if I wanted to give Celeste a grade, I have to go to Celeste's paper to give her a grade. So I would go here, I would give her a grade, and I would explain why I gave her that grade. You know, great comments or good comments, but uh, I don't think you really use the questions provided or whatever it is that you're deducting for um, good comments, but I noticed you only submitted half a draft of your own paper. Whatever it is you're deducting for, you explain here because Celeste and Celeste alone will see this grade and this comment, even though her comments on May Lynn's paper were on a different screen. Okay, so that's how you grade. One tip though, let's say you come to a paper and you see that there are no comments, right? And you may not remember, oh my gosh, nobody left uh, comments for Celeste. Who was supposed to leave comments for Celeste? You have to come back to this screen and figure out who was supposed to leave comments for Celeste. In this case, I can see that Lily was supposed to leave comments for Celeste. And that will help me understand who may deserve a lower grade or even a zero for not leaving comments. So if you're going through and you see a student submitted a draft on their own, but they didn't leave comments for another student, you can't remember who was supposed to leave comments, you have to come back to the screen. And just as a reminder, this name is the reader's name and this name is the draft. So in this case, Clodison is supposed to read Dietrich's paper. And so if there were no comments on Dietrich's paper, it would mean that Clodison did not leave the comments, okay? So you go through and you give everybody grades and give them comments. And again, you have to go through them all looking at the comments and then go through them all again, leaving the grade on the right page. I wish there was a simpler system. I really, really do. But for now, this is the system we've been given. And this is how you leave grades for peer review comments in Canvas. Please, if you have any questions, just let us know.